Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Make sure to stick until the end of the video, or I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So to solve this, 19 here, I'm going to replace with 18 plus 1, because 19 is the same thing as 18 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 18 plus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. Now, I'm going to go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of 18 from this. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 times, now 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18, simply just 1. Now I have 2 to the power of 18 times, now 2 to the power of 1, that's the same thing as 2, so I have 2 minus 1. So now 2 minus 1, that's simply equal to 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is simply equal to 2 to the power of 18. So now what we're going to want to do is find the value for 2 to the power of 18. So we found out that 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18 is 2 to the power of 18. So now to find the value of 2 to the power of 18, I'm simply going to simplify this a little bit. So 2 to the power of 18, well 18 here, this is the same thing as 9 times 2. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. Now 2 to the power of 9, what is that? Well, 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. So 2 to the power of 6, this is going to be double of 32, which is 64. 2 to the power of 7 is double of 64, which is 128. 2 to the power of 8 is double of 128, which is 256. And finally, 2 to the power of 9 is going to be double of 256, which is 512. So now I have 512 squared. So now, to solve this, I'm going to rewrite 512 as 500 plus 12 squared. So now I have 500 plus 12 times 500 plus 12. So I'm first going to distribute 500. So I have 500 times 500, which is 25, sorry, 250,000, plus 500 times 12, which is going to be 6,000. Now I have this plus 12 times 500, which is 6,000 again, plus 12 times 12, which is 144. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all of these. So I have 250,000 plus 6,000 plus 6,000, which is 12,000. So I have 262,000 plus 144, which is equal to 262,144. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9 plus 8 to the power of 9. So now to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 8 to the power of 9. So now I have 8 to the power of 9 times. Now 8 to the power of 9 divided by 8 to the power of 9 is simply 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now if I simplify it in the parentheses, I get 8 to the power of 9 times 4 because 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. Now, to solve this, I'm going to make both of these terms into the same base. So 8 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. And 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. 
So now if I replace these two terms with 2 to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 9, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times 9. I have this times 2 to the power of 2. Now, 3 times 9, that's equal to 27. So I have 2 to the power of 27 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, what I'm going to do to solve this is if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m plus n. So now 2 to the power of 27 times 2 to the power of 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 27 plus 2. Now 27 plus 2, that's going to equal 29. So now I have 2 to the power of 29. And this is my answer. So now if we want to simplify this a little more, 2 to the power of 10, this is the same thing as 1024. So 2 to the power of 20, this is going to be simply 1024 squared. And now I have what's left is 2 to the power of 9, which is equal to 512. So 2 to the power of 29, this is going to equal 1024 squared times 512. Now 1024 squared, I'm actually going to use a calculator to find that answer because doing that is just a waste of time. That The value of that is 1,048,576. And now if I multiply this by 512, I get 536,870,912. So this is my answer. So I have 2 to the power of 1,000 minus 2 to the power of 999. So now to solve this problem, I'm going to first rewrite this as 2 to the power of 999 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 999. So 1,000 I just rewrote as 999 plus 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 999 plus 1, we can think of a as 2 in this case, m as 999, and n as 1. So now this is going to equal a to the power of m, so 2 to the power of 999 times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 999. Now, to simplify this, I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of 999 because both of these terms have 2 to the power of 999 in them. So now I have 2 to the power of 999 times, well, 2 to the power of 999 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 999 is simply going to be 2 to the power of 1. Now I have this minus 2 to the power of 999 divided by 2 to the power of 999 is simply 1. So now, 2 to the power of 1, well this is the same thing as 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 999 times 2 minus 1. Now 2 minus 1, this is simply going to equal 1. So I have 2 to the power of 999 times 1. And this is equal to simply 2 to the power of 999 because anything times 1 is itself. 
So 2 to the power of 999 is our answer.